Hey guys, welcome to part 3. In the last episode, I actually showed you all about races, but that was really like halfway through the first episode. In the first episode, I almost got assassinated. I almost got executed. There's a difference. Dragon came, blew up everything. I killed people. You know, I'm just an IT. I've never killed anyone. All of a sudden, bam, they hand me a sword and I'm expected to kill people. And now I'm running around with an Imperial guy. We're best buds now. Trying to figure out where the world are we. I'm gonna go down this cave. Oh, I was right. I'll take that. I'll take that. What? It's in my nature. I like money. I fell behind. <laughs> Don't fall behind. I fell behind. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Hold on. I almost forgot. What? Three, four, five. There. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. But this money will take I me everywhere. I guess we better try this way. See? What's up? Better down here than out there. That's debatable, actually. Uh... Oh! Please, no! I'm hiding. I'm a little girl. I'm gonna use my special power up of running away like a little girl. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> he is laughing, and I'm sitting here back here like, oh, oh my! If that thing comes towards me, I'm running. What was that? I'll give you three guesses. And that thing's just sitting up there. No big deal. I'm I'm a big spider. Seriously, one of them is going to come at me, and I'm going to scream like a little girl. And I'm going to use my special run away like a little girl powers. Oh! <laughs> this face freaks me out. What next, giant snake? Third person! Third person! Hi. I'm not going to look. No. I'm not exploring. If I thought you always explored. No. No. Giant snakes any day. Actually, I think um, a dragon first in a I think when I did this originally, see, there's like no difference between whether you choose him or the stormcloak guy. But I think the stormcloak guy was also like scared of spiders like I am. So both me, it was literally like both me and him looked at each other like, we're screwed, we're dead. I'm sorry. Hold up, there's a bear just ahead. See her. Everyone stop. Bear. Nope. Giant spiders, we're okay with bear. <laughs> no. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Yep, you do that. Not the sneaking type, huh? No, I'm the sneaking type. I'm just okay with. Oh, hey, hey, hi, hi, hi. Shield bash in the face. Shield bash in the face. How did I do that? It's like I'm sitting there one moment, all of a sudden, beast mode. <laughs> How did I just do that? So I see. You're actually a lot stronger than you think you are. <laughs> ah, spiders. <laughs> so I just turned out to be awesome all of a sudden. Mr. Meowmers just kicked his butt. But Sir Whis- I should have named myself that. But Sir Whiskers. But Sir Whiskers. I maxed the cat. Must have fell to their desk, broke the legs, couldn't get out. There's blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. Actually, okay. I gotta quit hitting new save, because that, I'll be honest. I accidentally did that before. I had like 300 new saves. Drove me nuts. Okay. Let's keep going. If there's spiders again, I'm. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Wow, you're a quitter. Plus, we're not going back through the spiders. Eh eh. I'm gonna use my sword to mine before I go through those spiders again. <laughs> Let's just be honest here, folks. 
Sky Dragon. <laughs> wait, wait. What's up? What's up? What's up? I can't pickpocket him. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. What about the others? No. Okay. Close oh. town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Unbound. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Thank you. Hey. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. Winter I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we oh. split up. Good luck. There we go. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Thank you, Hadvar. You're a good friend. And you didn't let the spiders kill me. However, I'm going to stick with you just for a little bit. I mean, I am new here. There's all this stuff on my map that I want to explore, but... I'm just going to keep walking. See, if I go to a place, I'm going to have to explore it. Or else, I can't write it down on my piece of paper that I did it, so... Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. You could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon... General Tullius is the only one who can stop. Them. He was one of the people screaming. Nah, I'm kidding. He was yelling. Everyone like, "Hey, let's not die. Let's get everyone to safety. What does it take to kill this thing?" Stick. Oh, hey, stick. Halgen, Riverwood, Falkreath. Halgen doesn't exist anymore, dearie. Got like no stamina. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy. That place always used to give me night. Hey, what's that thing down there? Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Well, yeah. It's freaky. Okay, um... I forgot to change down my quality so that it's faster. Well, not that bad. I think I'll do it though, just to be safe. I mean, some of you out there might be saying, Oh, you don't got the best quality. Eh. Matters that's there. These are the Guardian Stones. Ooh! Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Okay. Those under the sign of the thief will learn all stealth skills 20%. Ooh. Those under the sign of the mage will learn all tw magic skills 20%. Ooh. Those under the sign of the warrior will learn all combat skills 20% faster. If you're wondering what it means by like the combat skills and everything, if you go up here, okay, see these ones are red. These ones are green, these ones are blue. Blue is magic, red is warrior, green is thief. So, what do I want to level up the most? What's the biggest pain to level up? I want to get you to 40, so I can get that. Um. So I'm going to tell you guys right now. This perk is beastly. You will love that perk. So I really want it. And enchanting, I'm really touched any of these yet so i think i'm gonna go with um the hardest okay let's just look at this the hardest one to level up what is it? magic normally well yeah, yeah thief, i'll do it Josh, ha, ha, ha. Thief, it's never too late to take charge of your own fate you know i do take charge of my own fate that's why i'm a thief okay i'm just gonna follow you man because listen I got no idea where I'm going. What's up? What is it? I'll show you what a real can do. Huh? Advar. Come on. I feel better once we're under cover in Riverwood. Or you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Oh! Right. The leader of the Stormcloaks. Okay. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. Hmm. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. Pretty much. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. Okay. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. Mm. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. Yeah, I'll just kill him. That got the Empire's attention. Eh, LOL. 
So I had to capture this guy if he like shouted the master stroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. <laughs> okay. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. Mm. This time, the general turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. Why do you only have a few bodyguards? He surrendered pretty meekly, too. So much for his death or glory reputation. That might mean he knew the dragon I thought would we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil. But I guess the general changed his mind. You know the rest. Why don't we just kill him? <laughs> Why is... Where's I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire. I never heard of him. But here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Hmm? Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Oh, okay. And where would Skyrim be? That's the pot that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. This is why I like the Imperials Unless better. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor will destroy us all. Okay. Hey. We'd better keep moving. I feel like that dragon might be up there watching us right now. <laughs> wow, that actually looks like a spot dragon would be. I was kidding. I was kidding when I saw that. <laughs> I wanna can we explore that mining camp? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your part. Thank you. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? They never did get my name. Hey, kill the cat. Which cat? The cat. You sure about that? I'm sure about that. Okay. What was that? Oh crap. I knew I heard something. I knew I heard something giant wolf. Crap. I just quit saying crap on this. Curse you. Curse you, Wolfie. And since we're on legendary mode, you're actually kind of scary. Wow, good one. You did. You killed that one in a backstroke. Die. Die. Hint. Quick, search the bodies. Might be able to sell it. For what? Money. How you doing? It's blood all over your hand. I just killed a man. Wolf. With this glove. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Awesome. Hey, I didn't feel like splitting up to you, man. You said let's split up. I said, uh, no. I got no idea where I'm going. And I, my tail sticks out of my armor. I love that. Okay. Tree mushroom. Why are you harvesting it? I have no idea. Okay, I'll tell you guys right now. Harvest alchemy ingredients. If you see it, harvest it. You won't regret it. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Uncle. I want to kill the chicken, but I've read too many memes that they'll kill me if I kill that chicken. I hope that dragon isn't still flying around there somewhere. We'd better keep Good morning, going. Hilda. I feel like that Nobody believes you, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. No, I saw a dragon. <laughs> Uncle Halvor, hello. Uncle! Halvor, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, bones? What happened to you, boy? Uh, rhymes with dragon. Are you in some Uncle, kind of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. See, we are pinned down, and I killed the two archers. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! That lady summed it up. <laughs> what is it now, Mother? What is it now, Mother? If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. I'm walking through. She's not crazy. Walks away. All right, so. Sigrid, we have company. Hello, what's your name? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. Dang it. But you seem all right. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. 
Come, you two must be hungry. I have no concept of Sit hunger. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Thank you. And now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? We did. I killed it. I don't it. know where to start. You know Please. I was assigned to General Tullius' squad. <sighs> we were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? Hey, That's hands ridiculous. Off. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. I stole Not it. much I'm more sorry. to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked He starts all cooking just randomly. Confusion. I don't know if... I just accidentally stole it, which is stupid. So I'm going to drop it. No one else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get the one that just stole our pot. Let them know that happened. one. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. Sorry about the pot. I'm glad to help however I can. He's really mad at me. You stole my pot. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Thank you. But I need your help. We need your help. What's going on? Take gift. Um, I'll take bread. Those carrots. Cheese. Gold necklace. Honey nut tree. I, I make it a rule. I will steal everything, but not alcohol. Just to prove a point. Uh, yep, 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 and yep. I don't need any of your other things. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. I will tell him. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. For my chest. If you'll do that for me. I will do that I'll for you. Dead. Ouch. I just hit my hand against the table. <laughs> okay. How do I get to Whiterun? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. Let's do this thing. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Seems legit. All right. It's so. from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. That's good. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Ah, dang it. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you so ask me. So basically, since Ulfric was freaking out, saying that it's terrible that it's been illegal, now... The Empire had to crack down, so the Thalmor didn't crack down, and now he ruined it for everyone. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. I don't have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. I can do that. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Well, thank you. I will, I will do that I... right now. Did you really see a dragon? But did you really see a dragon? I have post-traumatic stress syndrome right now. If someone tells me I stole something, I'm gonna be a little ticked. Sweet. Okay. Um, I'll take that steel dagger. That's a heavy. It looks like steel shield. It might be better than my steel shield. Yeah, exactly. I wanna take it. Iron boots. I'll take that. It's not considered stealing. You are so sick, Max. Yeah, I know. Okay, on, let's. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm such a terrible person. I would never do this in real life. Alright. No, he sees me. Okay. Let's see about upgrading them weapons. Okay. I just want to upgrade this. All right. That's a decent weapon you've made. There. Thank you. Go to the tanning rack. Now, I want to say. Go to the next one. There we go. I might be able to make some good armor. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Iron. Fail. Um, wait, can I make, can I make iron things? I'd really like that, actually. This says I need leather strips. 
Hold on, let's see. Yeah, all they say I need is leather strips. And I, I can do that. Let's go here. See, if you turn it into actual leather, it'll get heavier. But then if you, like, leave it as... Okay. If you turn to leather strips, then, it gets a lot lighter. So it's kind of, like, contradictory, but... Okay, that. Heavy... You got anything light armor? Armor 8. I'm gonna need the defense right now, so... Argon Iron Shield. How about a chest? No? Okay. I'll... No. Gauntlets, boots. Yes! Dovakin, Fusafro! Ali Fushi Dude, your armor's like way mismatched. I don't know. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of that. Don't gotta tell me twice. It's okay. I'm Dova King. I'm Dova Cat. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason. I'm heading off on an adventure. And I know we've been going for 20 minutes, but I don't care. We're just gonna keep going. Because, really? This game is time consuming. It's not a bad thing. Alright, my map says we need to go this way. Do, do, do. I'm a ninja. Oh, that reminds me. There we go. Favorite that. Alright. Look at that. Everything looks all. Psychedelic. Mushroom Sam. No, I'm not gonna go nuts on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that kid, I wouldn't be able to get away with that. Give me the button. Give me the button. There. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, since we're at a spot where nothing much is happening, so I can just talk. Collect all the alchemy ingredients. It seems ridiculous, and you'll be weighed down by it, and you'll sit there and go, why do I have all this stuff? But you won't regret it. Along with alchemy ingredients, you also need to... Okay, turn off this night vision. <laughs> you also need to always buy all the smithing supplies you can. Now, I don't know how much money I have. No. I have 68 gold, which is like nothing. Psychedelic. It's like nothing. I'm not saying that's what you mean. I honestly mean it. It's like absolutely nothing. Hey. Ooh, a choice. Duck. Imperial business. Be on your way. We can free this Citizen, guy if we want. I'm warning you. Your presence is interfering with imperial business. Be gone. I'm not going to though. We'll decide later whether or not we want to join the Stormcloaks or the Imperials. So what was I saying? Oh yeah. Always pick up alchemy ingredients and always buy smithing supplies. Especially Daedric Hearts. You'll need that for way later on in life. Kitties don't like the rain. Ooh, what's this? Hello. I'm an adventurer. Hunning Brew Meadery. Hunning Brew Meadery. Okay. So you see the reason I'm writing this oh the reason I'm writing this down is so eventually in the end of the game I can stop and say, alright, here are all the places we have not been to. And there you go. Hello. If you need to sample Welcome. some of the finest I'm the old Skyrim. Take a look. In the right place. Um, ingredients. I'll buy this. Now, is there anything I can sell? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy something, go find Sabjorn. Otherwise, piss off. If you're looking to purchase any mead, well, we're a small meadery, but growing quickly. Hunting brew Sabjorn's uses only, only been the finest natural short time honey. Now, and look at Not it. that sludge you'll find it. Okay, how two people love me. One person's like, I hate you. I'm sitting there. Fine. Take my business elsewhere. Yeah, it's so later on in life. 
we can like sorry it's so later on in life we can stop and say all right these are all the places we have not been to chill for a farm chill for a farm yeah it, it drives me nuts doing that too guys don't worry cow cow nice cow pet the cow Chicken! What are you doing? You know, I don't actually know. No! See, if I could, I would unlock their door. Just to unlock it. I wouldn't do anything else, just... <laughs> cool. I lost the road. We're hitchhiking this. Oh, hey. Some Nernrut? Nernrut! Stuff glows. It's cool. How am I discovering all these farms in the dead of night? Oh, it's time. See, that's why I don't like the auto, because it gets like all these little auto saves things running around. But I guess it's also good for like keeping me. Oh, it's time! What you want. Plagia farm. Max is a giant. Plagia farm. Yo, I might not even write all the things on. I will Sparta! Wait, hold on. Oh! Well, first, awesome, I leveled up. Okay, um, I'm gonna increase health to 5, like, to 15. Just kind of spread it around. Spread the love. Alright, I really need this. I really need that. Okay. Oh, wow. That was freaky. Not the face! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Not the moneymaker! Die! 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 Die. 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 Don't do that. Hi. Who are you? Oh, got more to say. No. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companion. I want to talk to Farker. Order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. Cool. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. So you're like good guy mercenaries. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vascar. Okay. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Thanks. What do you need? You look strong. Come to your Vascar and be a companion. Thanks, Farkas. That's why I like that guy. How come the giant didn't have any money on him? Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. That's weird. Alright. I didn't really explore that place because I got distracted. So there's one last place I want to go to. Horsey. Hi there. What do you do? I can take you to any of the hold capital. Sweet. Until next time. White run stables. White run stay wow it's only the third episode and doing that already drives me nuts sorry that drives me nuts having to write everything down but it makes sense why we're doing it need a horse talk to my father Skolvar. thank you come to chat with an old woman hmm? do your good deed for the day you're cynical I do my good deeds every day <laughs> Max, what? You are a bad and terrible person. I know. Yeah. Ooh, I want that. But 5%? Dang it. See, okay. You might have been wondering why I save before each pickpocket. That's why. So I can sit here and go. 
what? Robot. Robo Arigato, Mr. Robot. Yeah, let <laughs> There! He walks in. What the crap you doing? Yep. I will get this. It's all about playing the odds. Crap. I'm so stealthy. I'm so stinking. Wow, she's got a lot. Okay, speed up until I rob her blind. Because literally this is what you will do. You will sit there. And you will pickpocket her, and pickpocket her, and pickpocket her, until eventually you get her good. So just give me a second. I'm going to pickpocket her like you wouldn't believe. Finally! That took way too long. No fair. So here's the problem though. You steal from them and you cannot... Okay, here, I'm just gonna spoil something. I'm gonna spoil something for you guys right now. You cannot sell stolen things to people unless A, they're, they're already illegal so, you know, like, they're a fence. They call them fences in this game. It, you know, just people who will buy stolen goods and they don't care. What? I, sorry about that. I have to wonder, though, how do they know they're stolen? The wonder of wonders. Because everyone seems to know. So, you can't... Come on. There. So, I need to find a fence if I'm going to sell any of these things. But really, I'm just kind of stealing it for fun now. Just so it's like, I get my um, pickpocketing up. Because somewhere in pickpocketing land, You're dang it, there is um, a thing that allows you, that gives you 100% more, not 100% more, 100 more capacity. There, I'm done. And I want that. Also, pickpocketing is one of the easiest things to level up. So, it's worth your time. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Carrying capacity is increased by 100. You can easily see the use of that. And then speech can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. That ability is awesome. So it's like, hey, I noticed you sell food. Arrows, weapons, treasure. You can invest 500 gold. Here, can barter stolen goods with any merchant you have invested in. That thing's the best. All the other ones, don't really care about as much. Okay, um, restoration. I'm gonna give a bo boost on restoration. That way we can get respite, because respite is awesome. Alright, I've taken too long in this video. I've, you know, I warned you guys, these videos will get long, and many times it won't seem like I'm doing anything, but trust me, it's essential. Really? Debatable. So in the next episode, let's see. Yep, that autosave will drive me nuts, but it'll keep you safe. So in the next episode, we're going to run over to Jarl and say, Dragon, it was this big. So, see you then.